There are a lot of stories in the news about Lake Michigan beach erosion. It can be a factor in property line disputes, and it has environmental impacts. But why does erosion happen? Well, beaches are really dynamic landforms. They grow and shrink all the time, trading sand back and forth. It's a natural process, eroding, then growing, then eroding again. Natural erosion isn't typically a problem. Beaches don't normally disappear because new sand is constantly being deposited. Unlike Michigan, most of the sand that gets moved around comes from big hills of sand sitting on the beach. These are called bluffs. As waves crash against bluffs, they rip the sand out, causing the bluffs to erode. Currents then carry that sand from the bluffs down shore, where eventually it gets deposited on a different beach or forms a new one. So if sand bluffs didn't erode, we wouldn't have beaches at all. But that beach will also erode. As wave energy strikes the beach, it pulls sand from the beach offshore, depositing it on a lake bed and sand from the lake bed can be pushed back onto the beach, like after a strong storm or when the lake's water levels change. Human activities can disrupt the beach formation process. We often build houses on beaches or recreational areas, and then we want to stop erosion to protect them. So we build seawalls in front of bluffs. This is called shoreline armoring. But this cuts off a major source of sand for beaches, preventing new sand from replacing the sand that is eroded. We also build structures like jetties, these structures extend perpendicularly from the shore and prevent shipping channels from filling in with sand. On the updrift side, the structure acts as a trap, collecting sand from the current and growing the beach. But on the downdrift side, the beach disappears, because all the sand has been collected on the other side of the structure. Often when we protect one beach from short-term erosion, we take it and its bluffs out of the beach formation cycle. We keep that sand from building other beaches. And the beach we set out to protect? it can eventually erode too. Indiana Public Broadcasting's digital producer Lauren Chapman created this video. I'm Nick Jansen, Indiana Public Broadcasting's energy and environment reporter.